You won't believe how easy it is to modify the back end of WordPress using a plugin. That means that you can white label WordPress so your clients don't know that you're actually using WordPress. In this case, I'm going to use Adminify for this. And if you want to check it out, link in the description. Let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George, and I want to show you at Minify. Now, it's one of the easiest plugins I've seen to customize the backend of WordPress. Now, in this case, I've already installed it on my WordPress site, and you can see there's no WordPress details here. And I can even change the name of the plugin so it doesn't say WP at Minify. Now, before I show you how to set this up in the settings, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They provide great share hosting plans that are really affordable. So if you want to check one out, link in the description jump to hosting, go to web hosting, and they have several shared hosting plans. In my personal opinion, I like Cloud Startup because they give you dedicated IP, plus a lot of more features. But if you want to go for the affordable version, check out Business or the premium one. So right now we're going to use Cloud Startup, and I'm going to show you how to apply the discount coupon code. Now, once you're here, you're going to be asked how many months do you want to pay in advance. I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest renewal price, lowest price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, right now, the price is four hundred and seventy nine dollars. Remember, for 48 months. But if you add my coupon code, it's going to drop to. One hundred and thirty one dollars with fifty seven cents. So you're good to go for four years with the discount code. Now, let's go to WP Adminify. Like I said, I've already installed the plugin, added my license, and I have went through the initial setup process, which is straightforward. Now we're going to go into this. OK. So Adminify, first of all, you're going to be able to enable and disable modules in Adminify. So first of all, do we want to use Adminify UI? Enable this. I mean, that's the whole reason you want to use Adminify. But if not, you can go ahead and turn it off and you'll see WordPress over here. You'll be able to modify the rest of the things, but it will look like WordPress. In this case, you might not want that. All right. Now, if you want to enable this for folders, for example, it's enabled for category pages, etc. If I go to pages, check how it's going to look. All right. So you can see we got a lot of settings. We got some create new folders, the search. It's a little bit better than what you have normally on WordPress. Let me go ahead and disable it just to give you an idea how that looks. Let me go ahead and save this. Go back to pages. And you have less options. See, you don't have the search options here like you would with the option turned on. All right. So there's a lot of more customization there. Login customizer so we can customize the login so it doesn't look like WordPress. Redirect URL. Admin notice, admin columns, menu editor, etc. There's a lot of settings that we can tweak right here. Then you have your customizer. So in this case, maybe the colors that you're displaying right now you don't like. Maybe you don't you want something like this, the body font, the background, the background style, etc. All of this can be customized. Let me go ahead and save it. And we're gonna be able to look this admin panel in a different way. There we go. Now it has that blue style. Maybe it's maybe you like it, maybe you don't. In my case, I like the first one, but I'll leave this on just for testing purposes. The dark light mode, if you want to enable light mode or dark mode, in this case, I'm a dark mode guy. You can also change the logo type for the dark mode, logo text, WP Adminify. In this case, it's going to say SAS Master. There we go. Logo text typography. We have all those options. Let's go ahead and save it. There we go. Let's go ahead and refresh it. And there we go. Now it says SAS Master. The admin folder, what do you want to display here or not? So you have the options to not display PHP versions, for example, WordPress version, memory usage, etc. You can go ahead and enable that or disable it because if clients are logging in, you want them to have certain type of uh, options or not. All right. Menu settings, menu type, menu mode, the sub menus. So in this case, I'm using the classic. I can use mini icons. I can use horizontal menu and let's go ahead and enable this. You have more options there. Let's go ahead and save this, refresh it. And now you have a whole different style than what you would see on WordPress. So consider that if you want to use this for clients. OK, the admin bar, what do you want them to display? So admin bar settings. Yes. Front end admin bar, light dark mode switcher. Do you want to enable that comments, icons, etc. The tweaks, a lot of tweaks here. For example, if you want to remove dash icons, maybe they're just in the way you don't need them. You can go ahead and remove them, make a more cleaner look. May, uh, maybe a cleaner look because it doesn't look like WordPress, etc. And a lot of options here. OK, we got options to tweak the feed, HTTP response, WP JSON, comments, post, archives, performance. So performance, maybe you don't need some of these because you have a cache plugin. But if not, you have the options, a few options here. OK, the widget settings. So in widgets, visible for selected roles, maybe not for everyone. Remove unwanted widgets. So maybe, you know, I don't want my clients to use these if they log in, etc. 
you can remove those the sidebar widgets the admin notice module settings for folders post post quick menus disable comments google page speed duplicate post etc admin activity logs so for who is it going to be available the asset manager custom css there you go white label options so for example when you have the plugin installed you can go ahead and change the name of the plugin so it doesn't say wp adminify so you can say sas master my own plugin description menu label the link that that plugin is going to go to and you're good to go so that's over here in the plugins let me go ahead and find it because now it's in the top in plugins right now it says wp adminify so maybe you want to tweak that so it doesn't say wp adminify in case a client logs in but you have a bunch of settings that you can tweak your backend using adminify so if you want to check it out the link we provided in the description if and if you plan to grab your chart hosting plan do check out my coupon code also in the description and that's a wrap